Tatra is a Czech vehicle manufacturer in Koprivnica. It is owned by the Tatra Trucks Company, based in Ostrava, and is the second oldest company in the world producing cars with an unbroken history, surpassed only by French automaker Peugeot. The company was founded in 1850 as Ignaz Schustala and Comp, in 1890 renamed Nesselsdorfer Wagenbau Fabriksgesellschaft when it became a wagon and carriage manufacturer. In 1897, Tatra produced the first motor car in Central Europe, the Prasident automobile. In 1921, it changed its name to Koprivnitska Vozovka A.S., and in 1919 changed from the Nesselsdorfer mark to the Tatra badge, named after the nearby Tatra Mountains on the Czechoslovak-Polish border, now on the Slovak-Polish border. During World War II Tatra was instrumental in the production of trucks and tank engines for the German war effort. Production of passenger cars ceased in 1999, but the company still produces a range of primarily all-wheel drive trucks, from 4x4 to 18x18. The brand is also known as a result of Czech truck racer Karol Lopres. In 1988-2001 he won the off-road race Dakar Rally six times with a Tatra 815. Topic early years Ignac Sestala (1822–1891), founder of the company Ignac Shustala and Comp in Koprivnica, Moravia, started the production of horse-drawn vehicles in 1850. In 1891, it branched out into railroad car manufacture, naming the company Nesselsdorfer Wagenbau Fabriksgesellschaft, and employed Hugo Fischer von Roslerstam as technical director in 1890. After the death of Sestala, von Roslerstam took over running the company and in 1897 he bought a Benz automobile. Using this for inspiration, the company made its first car, the Prasident, under the direction of engineers Hans Ledwinka and Edmund Rumpler, which was exhibited in 1897 in Vienna. Orders were obtained for more cars, and until 1900, nine improved cars based on precedent were made. The first car to be totally designed by Ledwinka came in 1900 with the Type A with rear mounted 2,714cc engine and top speed of 40 km per hour, 25 miles per hour, 22 units were built. This was followed by the Type B with central engine in 1902, but then Ledwinka left the company to concentrate on steam engine development. He returned in 1905 and designed a completely new car, the Type S with 3,308cc four-cylinder engine. Production was badly hit in 1912 with a 23-week strike and Hugo Fischer von Roslerstam left the company. Tatra concept In 1921 the company was renamed to Koprivnitska Vozovka, and in 1919 the name Tatra was given to the car range. Leopold Pasking took over control and in 1921 Hans Ledwinka returned again to develop the revolutionary Tatra 11. The new car, launched in 1923 featured a rigid backbone tube with swinging semi-axles at the rear giving independent suspension. The engine, front-mounted, was an air-cooled two-cylinder unit of 1,056 cc. In 1924 the company was renamed to Zavadi Tatra. The Tatra 11 was replaced in 1926 by the similar Tatra 12 which had four wheel brakes. A further development was the 1926 Tatra 17 with a 1930cc water-cooled six-cylinder engine and fully independent suspension. In 1927 the company was renamed Ringhofer Tatra. Pre-war streamliners Tatra's specialty was luxury cars of a technically advanced nature, going from air-cooled flat twins to fours and sixes, culminating briefly with the OHC 6-liter V12 in 1931. In the 1930s, under the supervision of Austrian engineer Hans Ledwinka, his son Erich and German engineer Erich Jubelacker, and protected by high tariffs and absence of foreign assemblers, Tatra began building advanced, streamlined cars after obtaining licenses from Paul Jurey, which started in 1934 with the large Tatra 77, the world's first production aerodynamic car. 
The average drag coefficient of a 1 to 5 model of the fastback Tatra 77 was recorded as 0.2455. It featured as did almost all subsequent big Tatras, a rear-mounted air-cooled V8 engine, which was in technical terms very sophisticated for the time. Topic: <laughs> Tatra and the conception of the Volkswagen Beetle. Both Adolf Hitler and Ferdinand Porsche were influenced by the Tatras. Hitler was a keen automotive enthusiast, and had ridden in Tatras during political tours of Czechoslovakia. He had also dined numerous times with Ledwinka. After one of these dinners Hitler remarked to Porsche, This is the car for my roads. From 1933 onwards, Ledwinka and Porsche met regularly to discuss their designs, and Porsche admitted, well, sometimes I looked over his shoulder and sometimes he looked over mine." While designing the Volkswagen. There is no doubt that the Beetle bore a striking resemblance to the Tatras, particularly the Tatra V570. The Tatra 97 of 1936 had a rear-located, rear-wheel drive, air-cooled four-cylinder boxer engine accommodating four passengers and providing luggage storage under the front bonnet and behind the rear seat. Another similarity between this Tatra and the Beetle is the central structural tunnel. Tatra launched a lawsuit against VW, but this was stopped when Germany invaded Czechoslovakia. At the same time, Tatra was forced to stop producing the T-97. The matter was reopened after World War II and in 1965 Volkswagen paid Tatra 1 million German marks in an out-of-court settlement. War years After the 1938 invasion of Czechoslovakia by Nazi Germany, Tatras were kept in production, largely because Germans liked the cars. Many German officers died in car accidents caused by driving the heavy, rear-engined Tatras faster around corners than they could handle. At the time, as an anecdote, Tatra became known as the Czech secret weapon for the scores of officers who died behind the wheel. At one point, official orders were issued forbidding German officers from driving Tatras. Topic: <laughs> Post-war management. The factory was nationalized in 1945 almost three years before the Communist Party came to power and in January 1946 was renamed to Tatra Narodny Podnik. Although production of pre-war models continued, a new model, the Tatra 600 to Traplin was designed, the name celebrating the new communist planned economy and the aeroplane inspiration colloque. Czech, aeroplan. It went into production in 1948. In 1951, the State Planning Department decided that the Tatraplan should henceforth be built at the Škoda plant in Malata Boleslav, leaving Tatra free to concentrate on trucks, buses and railway equipment. The Tatra 603 In 1953, amid much dissatisfaction among Communist Party leaders with the poor quality official cars imported from Russia, Tatra was again given permission to produce a luxury car, the Tatra 603. Much like Tatra's pre-war cars, it was driven by a rear-mounted, air-cooled V8 and had the company's trademark aerodynamic styling. The Tatra 603 initially featured three headlights and the first prototypes had a central rear stabilizing fin, though this feature was lost on production vehicles. It was also fitted with almost American-style thick chrome bumpers with bullets aka Dagmar bumpers. Almost entirely hand-built, Tatras were not available for normal citizens as they were not permitted to buy them. The cars were reserved for the Communist Party elite, industrial officials, as well as being exported to most other communist nations as official state cars. Notably, Cuban President Fidel Castro had a white Tatra 603, custom fitted with air conditioning. Tatra 603s were built until 1975, a 20-year reign as one of communism's finest cars. Numerous improvements were made during its production run, although not all vehicles built were actually new but rather reconditioned. In exchange for a newer model year car, the older vehicle was returned to the factory. 
There, it was upgraded to current model year specifications, refinished, and sent out again as a putatively new vehicle to replace another older T603. This makes it difficult to trace the history of surviving vehicles. Topic: 1970s makeover. The Tatra 613. In 1968 a replacement was developed, the Tatra 613. It was styled by the Italian styling house of Vignal and was a more modern, less rounded shape. It was not until 1973 that the car went into production, and volume production did not begin until the following year. Although the layout remained the same, the body was all new, as was the engine, being equipped with four overhead camshafts, a higher capacity motor 3495 cc and an output close to 165 bhp 123 kilowatts, 167 ps. In addition, it had been moved somewhat forward for improved balance. These cars were built in five series and went through several modifications until production ceased in 1996. It is a tribute to Vignal's styling that they did not look dated until rather late in that time period. Over 11,000 cars were built, and sales slowed to a trickle of just a few dozen per year towards the end of production as Tatras began to seem more and more outdated. Topic. 1990s Tatra 700 The Tatra 700 was a large luxury car released in 1996 by Tatra. Essentially a heavily restyled version of the Tatra 613 model it replaced, with updated body panels and detailing. The T700 was offered as both a saloon and coupé with either a 3.5 or 4.4 liter 90 degrees air-cooled V8 petrol engine. The model was neither successful nor produced in large numbers, having produced a total of 69 to 72 cars. The T700 was the last passenger car made by Tatra with production halting in 1999. At this point, Tatra abandoned automobile manufacturing in order to concentrate on truck design and manufacture. Topic 1990s Tatra MTX V8 The Tatra MTX V8 was the fastest Czech car of all time. Production started in 1991 in Koprivnica. It has a Tatra 623 V8 engine with inlet manifold injection producing 225 kW at 6,500 per minute. It accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 5.6 seconds. The top speed is 265 km per hour. Czech designer Václav Kral designed this vehicle. Only five units of this car were ever produced. Topic. 2000s In February 2008, Tatra announced the world's first and only air-cooled engine meeting the then forthcoming Euro 5 emission standards. The press release claims 7.5 times lower emissions of particulates and 3.5 times lower emission of nitrogen oxides compared to the previous engine. Further, production of air-cooled engines should significantly reduce the production of greenhouse gases due to the absence of liquid cooling systems. All Tatra vehicles from February 2008 onwards should use the new engine. A month later, Tatra CEO Ronald Adams told the Prague Post Tatra could return to producing passenger cars, saying, We would not come back to compete with the large automobile mass producers such as Volkswagen, Škoda, Toyota, etc. But we might come back with a replica of the old Tatra cars using a current undercarriage and driveline from one of the major automotive producers. The company has launched a feasibility study, hoping to produce 1,000 replicas of their legendary Tetraplan and 603 cars in 2010. In July 2008, pictures of a fuel cell concept car designed by Mike Jelinek, the Tatra 903, were shown. Tatra in the West Unlike most Soviet bloc manufacturers, Tatra enjoyed modest sales success in Western Europe, where its truck line had a reputation for simplicity and durability. 
No effort was made to distribute Tatra's unusual automobiles in the West, though a small number did find their way to collectors in Western Europe, and even to the United States. The fall of the Soviet Union did not help Tatra's fortunes, as the company made no inroads in Western Europe's already crowded automobile market. Worse, the introduction of competitors, such as Mercedes-Benz and Peugeot into the Czech Republic, further eroded Tatra's sales. Production of the passenger cars ended in 1999. Among Western collectors, Tatra automobiles remain largely unknown. The largest display of Tatra vehicles in the United States is at the Lane Motor Museum in Nashville, Tennessee. The museum's eclectic automobile collection contains 12 Tatra models, including a T613 ambulance. When talk show host and car collector Jay Leno visited the museum, the founder picked him up in a 1947 Tatra 87, prompting Leno to purchase one himself. Leno soon became an advocate for the brand. In the United States, the few Tatra clubs are closely associated with Citroën clubs, as many Tatra collectors also collect Citroën DS series cars. A Tatra 87 is on exhibit at the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. Trucks Topic: 1898–1914 beginning The first truck manufactured at Koprivnica in 1898 was a flatbed with two liquid-cooled side-by-side mounted two-cylinder Benz engines each at 2.7 L capacity with total power output of 8.8 kW placed after the rear axle and cargo capacity of 2.5 ton. The unique feature of the engine's setup was that the engines could be operated sequentially depending on the load requirements. Number 1 engine was started via a cranking handle and had a flywheel attached and number 2 engine without the flywheel was connected via a gear clutch and started by the first engine already running. The second truck manufactured was once again a flatbed R type of 2.5 ton cargo capacity built in 1909. Powered by liquid-cooled petrol four-cylinder engine of 4.1 L capacity and power output of 18.4 kW with the engine placed above front axle which is the conventional design to this day. The vehicle featured solid rubber tires and semi-elliptic leaf spring suspension. In 1910 Tatra manufactured its first bus the Omnibus type so with total production of five units. Topic: 1914 to 1922 serial production. The first true serial truck production at Tatra was instigated by the beginning of World War I. In the year 1914, there were only two trucks made, Type T 1440s HP. However, by 1915's end, the production jumped to a total of 105 TL2 units, and the following year, 1916, the numbers rose to a total of 196 TL2 and 30 TL4. Production peaked in 1917 with 19 TL2 and 303 TL4 models, but then production declined, and a similar number of vehicles of one type manufactured in a year was not achieved or surpassed until 1936 with the T27 model. Technically models TL2 and TL4 were almost identically designed, in fact TL4 evolved from TL2 where both had liquid-cooled OHC engines of max power output of 25.7 kW 35 PS, 34 horsepower. The TL2 had a GVM 2,100 kg 4, and 4,000 kg 8, GCM, TL4 had 2,700 kg 5, pounds GVM and 6,700 kg 14,771 pounds GCM respectively. Both types remained in production in small series until 1927. The TL4 is considered the first truck to come out of NW Nesselsdorfer Wagenbau to carry the name Tatra in 1919. Topic: 1923 to 1938 Tatra concept. 
After the introduction of Tatra 11 and Tatra 12 cars with their distinctive backbone tube design and swing axles, Tatra introduced its first truck on the same basis, the light utility Tatra 13 powered by two-cylinder air-cooled petrol engine with power output 8.8 kW and 1,000 kg pounds cargo capacity. Further models followed, and in 1926, T23 and T24 were introduced, nicknamed Bulldogs, which could be considered Tatra's precursors to co-designed trucks. Improved version T13 was introduced as T26 with a more powerful four-cylinder flat air-cooled engine and in six-wheeler chassis created capable off-road light utility truck which later evolved into T72 model which was heavily used by Czechoslovakian army at the time and was also manufactured under license by the French company Lorraine Dietrich. In 1933 Tatra built a limited series of T-25 heavy artillery hauler with four- and six-cylinder petrol engines. The most popular Tatra truck before World War II was Type T-27 powered by four-cylinder petrol or diesel engines, which remained in production for nearly 17 years 1930 with total production of 7,620 units. By adding an extra axle to the rear the Type T-28 was created however, it was not successful and only limited production resulted in a mainly bus chassis. In the period from 1931 to 1938 Tatra also built a small utility truck based on the chassis from T-30 named Tatra T-43 which remained popular with small business owners. T-72 model successfully continued the line to T-82 built mainly for military in cargo and personnel transport between 1935 and 1938 and further to T-92 and T-93 built for the Romanian army from 1938 to 1941 which were identical except T-93 had also a driven front axle. Topic. 1939–1956 World War II and beyond Following the Nazi occupation of Czechoslovakia the production at Koprivnica was annexed by the Germans for the supply of trucks needed by the Wehrmacht. Apart from the existing lineup of T27, T92 90 seconds a new heavy truck, the T81 commenced production featuring liquid cooled 12.5 LV8 diesel engine with a power output of 118 kilowatts, 160 PS, 158 horsepower in 6 times 4 axle configuration. This vehicle evolved in 1942 into the legendary T111 which continued in production until 1962, with the total of 33,690 units made. The T111 also featured Tatra's first air-cooled diesel engine, a massive V12 originally designed for the armored SDKF Z234 Puma. In the latter stages of World War II Tatra was instrumental in the development of air-cooled diesel engines for German tanks. In late 1944 General Heinz Guderian ordered that production of the Type 38T Hetzer tank be modified to incorporate a Tatra Type 928 V8 air-cooled diesel engine, though this order was delayed so production could continue uninterrupted. After the war the T-111 contributed heavily to the rebuilding effort in Central and Eastern Europe and a memorial was built at Magadan, Siberia for its exploits in the far east of the USSR. 1957–1982 Moving forward The decision to replace the reliable but aging T-111 was taken in 1952 based on central planning economy of socialist government where directive was made to Tatra NP that it should concentrate on the manufacture of 7 to 10 ton capacity commercial vehicles and in 1956 first T-137 and T-138 trucks were exhibited at the Czechoslovak Machinery Expo in Brno. Production of the T-111 continued alongside the T-138 series until 1962. The T-138 itself continued in production until 1969 when it was replaced by the improved T-148, which provided an increase in power output, reliability and product improvements. 
In 1967 Tatra began production of one of its famous off-road trucks the T813 using its modular construction technology, the model incorporated the latest trends in commercial vehicle design such as cab over engine and wide profile tires. It featured a new V12 engine and all military versions had a central tire inflation, deflation system as standard equipment. The T813 was designed to tow loads up to 100 ton GCM and it was a familiar sight on the roads in Czechoslovakia hauling large often oversized loads. 1982–2008 T815 and beyond the Tatra 815 was designed for extreme off-road conditions, and its road versions are derived from the off-road original. After the 53-road session of CMEA Council a directive that Tatra NP would be a sole supplier of off-road commercial vehicles of T815 was upgraded to T815 II with minor cosmetic changes and improved ergonomics and safety. The biggest change was the engine emissions accordance with the Euro Zero limits and to Euro 1 limits in 1993 turbocharged V8 engine only since this time for the full legislation. As alternative was offered also the Dutes 513 air-cooled V8 engine. The next facelift in 1997 brought in the new exterior design cabin Turno 1 with all new interior with better sound and heat insulation however the cabin design is based on the original so it can actually be retrofitted to all T815 built since 1993. In 2000 the Turno 1 cabin is facelifted again and for the first time there is an option to fit liquid-cooled engines. The Turno 1 model introduced the Kingframe rear axle suspension. Another evolution step T3B engine came with the Euro 2 emission limit. Following further improvements in 2003 T815 gets the new Euro 3 T3 CV8 engine mated to all new 14-speed range plus split gearbox as well as option for engines from other suppliers most notably Caterpillar, Cummins, Detroit Diesel, Dutes and MTU with its monster 22.5-liter V12 and up to 610 kW 829 PS, 818 horsepower power output. In September 2006 Tatra introduced its Euro 4 compliant turbocharged T3D engine with the SCR exhaust technology and in February 2008 the world's first Euro 5 compliant air-cooled diesel engine based on T3D engine The evolution of Tatra 815 would not be complete without mentioning its derivates T816 T815-6 Armax and 4 series which had its origin back in 1993 when Tatra participated in the the tender process for heavy-duty off-road trucks for UAE Army and after two years of bidding the company was successful in securing a contract worth $180 million. The resulting model became known as T816 LIWA Arabic for desert. The latest model for the military customers is T817 T815-7 marketed as high-mobility heavy-duty tactical truck with low-profile cabin for C-130 Hercules transportability for NATO member countries' armed services. Tatra also went back to its roots and decided to produce once again a bonneted CBE heavy-duty off-road truck to continue the successful line started with T111, so in 1999 the T163 Jamal was put into full production after first prototypes were built in 1997 and followed extensive testing including at Siberia, as a heavy-duty dump truck, once again based on proven backbone tube chassis construction with the cabin designed by Yuri Spanahel the T1 163 6x6 is used mainly on construction sites and in quarries. Tatra was also a successful bidder for the Czech Army replacement of aging Praga V3S with the Tatra I6 air-cooled engine, one half of the T111 V12-1 medium off-road truck with T810 which technically is not a genuine. Tatra as its origin goes back to when former Czech company Ross, in partnership with Renault Trucks, obtained a contract to supply the Army with medium-size off-road trucks, the Ross R210 6x6. The company however went bankrupt in 1998 and Tatra bought full rights to the design, then modernized and reintroduced it as T810 while continuing cooperation with Renault. 
Under the deal Renault supplies the cabins and the engines and Praga supplied axles and transmissions for the prototypes, however, the whole project has been dogged by controversy due to the way Tatra had obtained the contract, its relationship with supplier Praga and the subsequent court case brought against it by Praga. The serial T810 vehicles are equipped with the new design Tatra rigid axles with the Wabco disc brakes, with the ZF Ecolite transmission and stair drop box. Topic Navistar and Tatra Tatra and Navistar Defense introduced at Eurosatory Exposition in Paris, France Jun 14 the results of their strategic alliance since October 2009, the models ATX-6 Universal Container Carrier and ATX-8 Troop Carrier. The vehicles appear to be based on Tatra 815-7 T817 6x6, 8x8 chassis, suspension and cabins while using Navistar engines and other components. Under the deal Navistar Defense and Tatra AS will market the vehicles in North America, which includes sales to the United States military and foreign military sales financed by the United States government. Tatra will source parts and components through Navistar's Global Parts and Support Network for Tatra trucks delivered in markets outside of North America as well as market Navistar Tatra vehicles around the world in their primary markets. Ownership <inaudible> 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 The Terex Corporation, an American company, acquired the majority ownership 71% of Tatra in late 2003. As of late 2006, however, majority ownership was in the hands of Tatra Holdings S.R.O., an international consortium comprising Vectra Limited of UK, SAM Aid of the US, KBC Private Equity of Belgium, Meadowhill S.R.O., of Czech Republic and Ronald Adams of the US. On 15 December 2006, a contract was signed between Tatra and the Czech Republic for 556 trucks at roughly $130 million or 2.6 billion Czech crowns. This contract was signed in lieu of replacement of older military vehicles. In April 2007, Tatra announced that it had already matched its production in 2006 and produced 1,600 vehicles. In 2007, Tatra planned to produce between 2,300 and 2,500 vehicles. In contrast to previous years, Tatra has increased employment by the hundreds within the past two quarters, has reversed previous errors, and was growing again. In August 2011, DOF Trucks announced it had built up a 19% stake in Tatra, which was to use DOF cabs and Packard engines. DOF dealers were to sell Tatra off road trucks. In March 2013, Tatra was sold in auction for 176 mil CZK C, 7 mil Euro due to its debts to truck development company renamed to Tatra Trucks based in Ostrava, Czech Republic. Production continues. In 2013, Tatra sold 722 trucks, the most since 2008. Approximately two thirds of units were exported. In 2016, Tatra increased production by 56% and sold 1326 vehicles. All produced vehicles were sold. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current truck models. Tatra does not rely just on serial production, but also supplies even individual, highly specialized custom-made vehicles. The company also sells its own chassis. The current serial production models are Tatra 810 Tactic Army or Civilian Medium Truck Tatra 815-7 Force Army or Civilian Logistics Vehicle Tatra Terran Degree 1 Civilian Heavy Truck Tatra 158 Phoenix Civilian Heavy Truck Available in Euro 6 Topic India Tatra had a truck building joint venture in India called Tatra Vectra Motors Limited, formerly called Tatra Trucks India Limited. It is a joint venture between Tatra and the Vectra Group from England. In 2009, Vectra announced a new joint venture with Russia's Kamaz to form Kamaz Vectra Motors Limited to manufacture Kamaz trucks in India. This joint venture replaced the former Tatra Vectra venture. The manufacturing plant is located in Hosur, Tamil Nadu. 
The fully integrated manufacturing facility includes an engine assembly and testing plant, a cabin welding shop, a frame fabrication shop and a test track. Most Tatra trucks for sale in India are manufactured in collaboration with Bharat Earth Movers Limited. In 2002, the company received a 1,070 trucks order from the Government of India. Tatra's growing involvement in India's defence industry is often cited as an example of growing relations between Czech Republic and India. In 2010, the Indian government ordered 788 vehicles from public sector defence equipment manufacturer Bharat Earth Movers. The order comprises supply of 498 8x8 vehicles, 278 6x6 vehicles without winch and 12 6x6 with winch. Israel Reportedly following one of the Israeli-Arab conflicts, Israel tested some Tatras captured from the Egyptian armed forces. The Israel Defense Forces Command was apparently quite impressed with their performance, independent air cooling, and their capabilities as military trucks in long-range raiding operations in desert terrain, and became interested in including these trucks in their arsenal. As direct purchase from Czechoslovakia was impossible due to its alignment with Israeli foes, the lore has it that Israelis used the well paid services of Nikolai Ceausescu led Romania, in cooperation with an American company called ATC American Truck company to purchase military trucks, including desert equipped Tatras, leading to jokes that, Romania has a new desert. Current photos of various Israeli weapon systems, including Spider slated for India, show new Tatras as the carrier vehicles. A number of Tatra trucks entered service in the Israeli army's various sectors, with the brand mark of American Truck Company, under which Tatras were sold from the U.S. market and exported to Israel. Topic: <laughs> United States. American Truck Company was a quasi-independent company set up by Terex, when they controlled Tatra, to import Tatra vehicles in both knock-down kits or fully built and carry out assembly operations, repair and service, body building on chassis in the United States. These trucks were offered to the military and other government organizations and were badged and sold in the United States under the ATC brand. ATC badged Tatras were fitted with American Cummins turbodiesel engines in place of the Tatras air cooled diesel. Topic: <laughs> Tatra aircraft. The Ringhofer Tatra Works Limited produced several aircraft and aero engines in the 1930s and 1940s before annexation by Germany and after under the orders of the RLM. Among the aircraft produced were the following. Topic: <inaudible> Built under license. Tatra T.126 Avro 626 Avian. Tatra T131 Bucker Bu 131 Jungman. Topic: <inaudible> Tatra designed and built. Tatra T.001 Tatra T.002 Tatra T.003 Tatra T.101 Tatra T.201 Tatra T.301 Tatra T.401 Topic Models Topic: Passenger cars. Topic: Before the company was renamed to Tatra. NW Precedent. NWA. NWB. NWC. NWD. NWE. NW Electromobile. NWF NWJ NWL NWS NWT NWU 
Topic: <laughs> After the name Tatra was adopted. Tatra 10 Tatra 11 Tatra 12 Tatra 17 Tatra 20 Tatra 26 Tatra 30 Tatra 52 Tatra 54 Tatra 57 Tatra 57A and Tatra 57B Tatra 70 Tatra 75 Tatra 77 Tatra 77A Tatra 80 Tatra 87 Tatra 97 Tatra 600 to Traplin Tatra 603 Tatra 613 Tatra 623 Tatra 700 Topic Trucks NW first truck NWTL2 NWTL4 Tatra 13 Tatra 22 Tatra 23 Tatra 24 Tatra 25 Tatra 26 Tatra 27 Tatra 28 Tatra 29 Tatra 43 Tatra 49 Tatra 52 Tatra 72 Tatra 74 Tatra 79 Tatra 81 Tatra 82 Tatra 85 Tatra 92 Tatra 93 Tatra 111 Tatra 114 Tatra 115 Tatra 128 Tatra 138 OT-64 Scott Tatra engine powered 8 times 8 armored personnel carrier Tatra 141 Tatra 147 Tatra 148 Tatra 158 Phoenix Tatra 163 Jamal Tatra 700 Tatra 805 Tatra 810 Ants Tatra 813 ERM 78 times 8 armored multiple rocket launcher based on Tatra T813 Tatra 815 815 to 2 and Terno 1 Tatrapan 6 times 6 armored vehicle based on the Tatra 815 chassis Tatra 816 Armax trucks 4 times 4, 6 times 6 and 8 times 8 with air-cooled Tatra engines and transmissions by Tatra 4 special trucks with water-cooled engines and automatic transmissions Tatra 817 Topic: <laughs> Buses Tatra 24 Tatra 27 Tatra 43 Tatra 72 Tatra 114 Tatra 500 Topic Trolleybuses Tatra T86 1936 to 38 Tatra T400 1949 to 55 Tatra T401 1958 only one built Topic: Prototypes and racing cars. N.W. Renswire 1900. Tatra 12 Targa Florio 1925. Tatra 30 Sport 1926. Tatra 84 1935. Tatra 90 1935. Tatra 107 1946. Tatra 116, 117, 120th, 1948. Tatra 118, 119, 122nd, 1948. Tatra 130, 1951. Tatra 131, 1951. Tatra 137, 1956. Tatra 157, 1972. 
Tatra 201 Tatra 600 diesel 1952 Tatra 601 convertible 1951 Tatra 601 Monte Carlo Tatra 602 to Traplin Sports Tatra 603A 1964 Tatra 603 B5 1966 Tatra 603 B6 1967 Tatra 603 megabytes 1961 Tatra 603 Monte Carlo Tatra 603X 1966 Tatra 604 1954 Tatra 605 1957 Tatra 607 1950 Tatra 607 to 2 1953 Tatra 625 1986 Tatra 803 1950 Tatra 804 1951 Tatra 806 1951 Tatra Bagheera 1973 Tatra Dolphin 1963 Tatra JK 2500 1956 MTX Tatra V8 1991 Tatra President 1994 Tatra V570 1931 Tatra V855 1942 Tatra 163 Jamal Evo 2003 Topic Related Development Volkswagen Beetle Topic Similar Automobiles Chevrolet Corvair Citroen DS Porsche 356 Renault Dauphine Tucker Torpedo Topic See also List of automobile manufacturers Paul Jarret Hans Ledwinka Julius Mackerel Eric Ubelacker Frantisek Kardaus Flat engine V8 engine Austro Tatra Škoda Auto Avia List of Czech automobiles <laughs>